Pick number four from our five pack. We move to MLS here. Friday action, DC United and Philadelphia. Okay, this is a match that traditionally um, features uh, goals from both sides. Six of the last seven matches had both teams to score, and there's a lot of high scores between there between them already. Uh, three one wins, a couple of two two draws, four one wins. So um, Philadelphia, uh, they have a tendency to the under this season. And in fact, they they're fourteen and four to the under two and a half goals. Uh, but still, even though they have a tendency towards the under um, in their last uh, six matches, on the, uh, in the last five matches at home, they've kept just one clean sheet. So um, with a lot of one-one draws there, so they do um, they do have low tempos in their matches. But they they I mean they've kept a couple of clean sheets. But uh, this United, um, their, their defense has been a problem this season with thirty considered goals. But their offense has been quite good, and they also have a great guy in there who's. Who scored a hat trick, uh, Fundas, uh, the other day? So, um, yeah, this United they beat Orlando by three to five um, uh, last week. Where uh, the guy that I'm telling you about, the Greek guy Fundas, he scored a hat trick by the 51th, uh, the 51st minute. So, uh, they took have a good offense with him and uh, Camara up front, but uh, it's their difference that has been really, really bad. So, I believe that they'll be able to score at least one goal, and uh, Philadelphia they also find uh, easily at least one goal against this. Um, just bad uh, this United defense. So uh, in this occasion, we're going to take both teams to score at minus 130. All right, Paul Lagarde's finest picks over at Tony'sPicks.com here. At MLS for Friday, DC United and Philadelphia likes both teams to score the return minus 130. Guys, if you miss any of our picks, we'll do a complete recap here at the end of the show. So make sure you stay tuned for that. More thought here. Does the Greek guy, does he get a lot of cards? Uh, no, no, not so much. All right, that's it. All right, <laughs> not that's so it. much. <laughs> he plays in the offense. That's why, if he was a defender, he would take a lot of cards. <laughs> I got you. All right, here we go. Continue on here with the uh, soccer Daily, joined by Paul Legretto. 